What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. What we're doing right now is some historic. Indominus loves the colorless control deck that we posted like two years ago, I believe. It was a modern deck at the time, but now we're going to take a look at uh, historic and try to build a colorless control deck in historic. Oh, I like that this was introduced. Oh, wait, this was, this is, this already, one arch. Yeah, okay, so this already existed. This was an excellent one. I'm thinking of uh, Kaladesh cards that just entered. And let's look for, does that symbol look compressed? Yes, I imagine an aggro, oh, a command tower on, uh, on arena. Seems good. Crawling Barons seems fantastic, right? Uh, Sacrifice says draw a card, activate only if you control five or more lands. Uh, until the end of the turn, runs and creatures during function. Okay, so we have. Nope. We cast spells that they had flash. See, this is what I love, right? Like one, two, three, four, literal 20 copies of Evolving Wilds. Field of Ruin. There's no wastes on 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 Magic Online, right? So like, or on MTG Arena. So, Field of Ruin does not seem great unless you're splashing, unless you just have like a couple basics in there for your own Field of Ruin. Um, so I'm trying to do this from scratch. I know there are a few colorless control decks going around. So I know it's not like, oh well, Labyrinth seems great. Karn's Bastion seems good. Uh, Inventor's Fair seems great. So I'm just going to put the cards in that I think are good and we can figure out the numbers afterwards. No. Yeah. I'm always reluctant to try Blast Zone because I think the, uh, I think the mana cost is a little prohibitive. I, I don't like how much it costs to use, but I think it's, I think that's my own issue and not an issue inherent to the actual card. Oh, this is nice because we can actually go through all the colors cards as well. Oh, wow. An 0-3 for 1, you can sack it for 5 mana to deal 3 damage. That's pretty good. We're just going to go through all of these cards. Nothing yet seems compelling. Which makes sense. We're very early in the, in the artifact process. Oh, I do like a Maze Mind Tome. I wonder if that's going to be... Uh... <laughs> Multicolor creatures get plus one, plus one. That's actually pretty sweet for us. Hmm. I mean, the funny thing is we could actually add like 4, 8, 12, 16, 20... And then, like, you know, like, we can add just four of these, and that could be our mana base. And I think that's actually pretty sweet. Uh, let's bring in some Maze Mind Tome. I think that's a solid... Let's have Mind Stone. This is a good-looking prophetic prison. Mindstone and Guardian Idol. Interesting. Interesting. Audio's messed up, so I hear everything twice. 
That sounds like you're talking to yourself. It reminds me of the Paul Rudd Hot Ones clip. <laughs> oh, man. That's... Is anyone else having that problem? Where the audio is... Uh, playing twice. Let's put some spy glasses in the sideboard. Okay, this is interesting. Sunset Pyramid, two mana. Maze Mind Tome, two mana. Sunset Pyramid, three brick counters. So you get three activations. Maze Mind Tome, it, it exiles at four activations. Two mana and a tap, draw a card. Two mana and a tap, draw a card. One mana, scry one. Two mana and a tap, scry one. When this leaves, you gain four life. When this... I guess this stays... Benefit being, if this stays in play, you can keep scrying. Interesting. Okay. That is the distinction. But it's still kind of funny that, that the two of them are, are very similar. Yeah, because if you play this on turn two, if you, you need a third land drop, like being able to scry and for nothing is, is very... I mean, don't get me wrong. I think Maze Mind Tome is definitely better. I think drawing a fourth card and gaining four life is significantly better um, than than just being able to scry forever for two mana. Foundry Inspector is interesting. Oh, and Dominus 8, what up, my dude? Um... I'm going to go through here and, and pick out the must-haves first. Either Flux Reservoir and Either Works Marvel are two very, very interesting additions from Kaladesh. I do not think we're an, uh, either one of those. Similarly, Dark Steel Reactor is pretty interesting. Has anyone suggested Black Lotus yet? You're the first. Let's let's put Hedron Archives in here. Uh, this card's actually very tempting to try out, right? Like, it's a 4 mana 4-4. Four, four. It blocks. Um, if you have a 5-5, five, five, you can fight it, and this turns into a land that both adds 2 mana and makes a golem. That's kind of sweet. I mean, I don't know which card to use. Are they both good? Put them both in here for now. We'll see what we decide. Hmm. Mystic Forge is interesting. Well, these are both four mana Karns, so I don't even know which one would be Baby Karn anymore. We have the top card, you can cast artifact and color spells from the top of your library. I kind of like Mystic Forge as like a two of. Uh, I mean, Forsaken Monument is, is for sure a five, a four of, right? A 
That's like one of the reasons you play the deck, I think. Um, Self-assembler. No. Oh, there it is. Between my typing about it and the text showing up on screen. Yeah. Yeah. Someone actually played one God Pharaoh statue against us in their sideboard, and I was like, that's pretty sweet. I like Immortal Sun, but I think we're going to play too many Planeswalkers. We're also going to play Ugin's six mana and eight mana. Love this Ugin. I think three of this Ugin is probably okay. Meteor Golem's real tempting just because it's a solid dude. Let's play two Ulamogs. Utamogs, as they're as they're referred to. Okay. Um X is the full moment for expects to return move and grab your hand. Yeah, this guy seems great for us. Put you down here. And that's actually it for the uh I mean I wish there were wastes online. There's no wastes, right? Because then you could like use things like Solemn Simulacrum or Skyscan or things like that. Um, I don't think they're super necessary. Like even Thematic Compass would be great. Search library for basic land, you get a waste. Um, and that, but like being able to untap it into like Maze of Ith is pretty sweet. New deck two is looking great. Okay. There you go, you big turd. I actually thought that the three drop. I actually like that guy a lot. I'm glad to hear you guys think so too. Extinction event. Interesting. I mean, it seems pretty easy to splash with like, you know, prophetic prisms and stuff, but I do like the access to, to all the good lands. I also have no idea um I think you can actually just play like you play like two like two swamps or two two islands or something you're not going to use them but it's just nice it doesn't affect your mana base and it's also nice to have um I want I want these organized by by casting cost I, I guess I can switch right No okay that did not do it um yeah, you can just play a few islands just to play around Field of Ruin. I think this is an Abzan Nethroid. No, this is actually something new. I can get rid of this. Okay, uh, and for the record, this is colorless. This is a colorless ramp deck. And I want to take a look at this one just to see if I'm missing anything. So there are both Karns and Hedron Archives in here. Guardian Maze. Okay, so basically, this is very similar. 432. Okay, that's exactly what I was thinking. They have Interplanar Beacon, which is interesting, but they do have like 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So this is 14 Planeswalkers. Graph Digger's Cage in the main deck. So that's that's not a card we're going to consider. I also don't know if you need 8 of these. Okay. I really just wanted to make sure, like, we were kind of on the right track. Um, so now we're going to go here. I definitely think we want, like, three Maze Mind Tome. Three Guardian, three Mind Stone. I don't know which is better. We can probably figure that out as we go. Four Hedron Archive because they do draw us cards. Uh, three Karn. I, I like three of this Karn as well. I don't know if he's that great against... Like, there's not going to be... Unless there's a ton of artifact decks, I don't see it, like, being that great. Three... Oh, we did three... 
three three two instead of actually yeah that seems fine three three two um let's craft two of these guys i don't think you want more than that because they are legendary <laughs> no there is actually no eye of eugene karn's bastion proliferating yeah that seems good I also don't know if this was legal at the time. But, I mean, it seems pretty good, right? Crawling Baron seems like a four of. It's very, very good. Three of those. Two arch. How many lands is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen lands. I can see adding beacons. Because it doesn't actually affect our... Is this 21 lands? Um, I would say like two swamps. I think two swamps are probably fine. How many lands is that? 23. So this would be the deck, and we just need one more card. This is non-creature. Uh, non-creature artifacts you control. I don't know if I love that. Actually, maybe I do. It's probably pretty good, right? I think we can play one more of these guys. Uh, graph. Okay, we definitely want one more land of something. Is it Karn's Bastion? Karn's Bastion seems pretty good. Proliferating onto all your guys. You can also put a second lifelink counter on this guy, or like a second first strike counter. Those are pretty, that's pretty sweet. Do so we want Mystic Forge? Mm, probably not. Do you want three basics? I can do three basics. I can see that. I think that's also 24 lands, which I think is fine because we have six two mana Rampy Boys. We also get two extra cards. I can see adding another Crystalline Giant, which I think is actually probably decent. And maybe one more Metalwork Colossus. That seems like a good 60. I am going to go to the other deck and see if I can get some ideas for the sideboard because that's what I'm not too sure about one ofs. Hey, Ratchet Bomb, Shadow Spear. Oh, Mystic Forge in this in the sideboard there. Interesting. A Chroma's Memorial. Okay, that's a bunch of just a bunch of utility stuff. Nothing. It's it's nice because you can grab them in a match, so. Who's gonna be our mm. Let's do this guy. Yeah, alright. So, sideboard, let's look at colorless cards. Uh, no, no black whatsoever. Thank you. Just making sure we don't we didn't miss any good lands either. I mean, we're obviously going to come back and tweak this as we go. Oh, there was another um Bonders on in Enclave. Uh, draw a card, activate this only if you control creatures without four or greater. This is actually pretty good. I mean, it's likely that we'll have a creature with power 4 or greater, right? This guy could be a 4. Let's try it as a 1 of instead of an arch. I mean, big stuff we have. 3 Ugans, which I think is big. 3 of this Ugin, 2 Ulamog, and 2 Metalwork Colossus. Plus, like, this gives our colorless creatures plus 1, plus 1, plus 2, plus 2. Um, I kind of like 2 Bonders Enclaves, to be honest. I think they're pretty good I'll cut one labyrinth I mean three mana to draw a card is pretty sweet um, and I do think I think crawling barons has got to be better than mobilized district right 
mean, that's always a 2-2. Two, two. This guy's a 2-2. Two, two. Or th this is always a 3-3. Three, three. On the second activation, this is a 4-4. Four, four. And then a 6-6, six, six, etc., etc. Um, yeah, I could see Tormod's Crypt in the sideboard. Just in case we need that guy. Uh, I do think Shadow Spear is a solid choice. Shadow Spear, uh, making them lose Hexproof and Destructible is extremely relevant. I don't love Mox Amber because we like it. It's never going to turn on before turn four when we have a Karn. Detection Tower does do it, but A, you have to sacrifice it, and B, you can't get it with Karn from your sideboard. Yeah, I can definitely see a Stone Coil. Protection from uh, Multicolor is pretty banging. Um... A Chroma's Memorial does seem kind of sweet. I kind of like a one of a Chroma's Memorial on the sideboard. Yep, Platinum Angel, I can see. I do like... Yeah, Meteor Golem seems good. We can play two, because I can actually... Let's bring a God Pharaoh's Gift in here. Stone Coil. Uh, Thran Temporal Gateway is surprisingly legal, yes. What does that thing cost? Four? Yeah. Yeah, I can see Mystic Forge and probably like one Ratchet. Actually, Perilous Vault also seems good. And then we'll play the one Ratchet Bomb. And I think it's probably going to be pretty similar because I think you're very limited to the number of like utility sideboard cards. Also, I changed my card back to this one. Doggy. Save and exit. Okay, yeah, I think this is good for now. We'll see how this plays. So right now we have three Guardian Idol, three Mind Stone, three Maze Mind Tome, three Mecha Godzilla, the weapon, uh, four Hedron, three Karn, three Karn. This Karn's great because he makes constructs, Karn structs, if you will, and uh, they're usually probably going to be pretty good in this deck. Uh, Forsaken Monument, also great. Then you got three Ugin, three Ugin, two Ulamog, and two Metalwork Colossus. It's yet to be determined if Metalwork Colossus should just literally be another Ugin and another Ulamog. We, I don't know how quickly we're going to be able to ramp. Mana Base, three Karns Bastion, two Labyrinth, two Inventor's Fair. I don't want too many because it's legendary. Four Interplanar Beacon, four Crawling Barons, two Bonders Enclaves, three Blast Zone, and one Arch of Araska, and three Swamps, just in case they have Field of Ruin. I'm almost tempted to take out one of the um, one of the Crawling Barons for something else. We'll see. I think the whole point of, of this is to figure out a historic, traditional historic, yes. Alright, let's do it. Field of the Dead. I don't think we have seven different lands maybe we do i also don't think that's actually legal in historic is it is urza's tome any good is that the three mana draw tap three draw three or draw one sorry that isn't you mean field of ruin One land, gonna mulligan two lands. Okay. I'll keep it. 
We can ship one Hedron Archive. Then we got three, four, five, five, eight. Oh man, we're already facing Aetherworks Marvel here. Next time we get to Godzilla. Here comes Godzilla. Oh, it's a rogue fire. I wonder what's happening next turn. My guess is an either works Marvel. What did he get? First strike. Nice. Solid. We can go Hedron Archive into Maze Mind Town. That's that's kind of cool. Are they looking at him? Or this could just be mid-range energy nonsense. What'd you get? Trample. So, first strike, kill this guy, trample over. I think we're just gonna pass. I don't think we're attacking with this guy yet. I'm not a big fan of energy. I think adding another mechanic to the game uh, that only one per like that that one person is able to take advantage of. Well, if you're not playing energy, you're not. Then it's not great. Okay. I mean, that was literally five mana to just kill a 3-3. Three, three. That seems fine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We can play this for one, two, three, four, five. Oh, nice. I don't want that anyway. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh. Sixty minutes. Hmm. Well, I'm just hoping this lives for the turn. Unfortunately, these are colorless, though, so. But, gaining two life for every colorless spell seems pretty good. What could they have to get rid of our, our Forsaken Monument? Oh, maybe nothing. Is there a good energy counter spell that they're going to use on us? Did these make three mana? Yeah, okay. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. So we can actually, this is basically free. Control on. Do not ignore my draconic tell. Oof, it's legendary, right? Okay. Yep. 
Rockin', rollin', all we I mean, it feels like we're in good shape. <laughs> we also have two Hedron Archives on the board. Okay. Boy. Most of these just meant to come. Yeah, I don't think we're going to board anything in yet. Dang it. Okay. Keep six, we'll send this guy home. So the Stone Cold Serpent's mostly for getting with Karn, right? Like we grab it with Karn. I don't want to board in one because we have a better chance of drawing it. If we just, we have three Karns in the deck and one Stone Cold Serpent, right? So if we just leave it in the sideboard, we have actually three, three times the chance of getting it. Don't say. So one, two, three, we can just play. We can play Karn? That doesn't seem great. We can play this Karn. Make a two two. Or we can just play Mecha Godzilla here. I think it's Mecha Godzilla. What do you get? What did you get? Menace? Okay. Mecha Godzilla, are you dying? I mean, they can shatter Skull Smashing for two, which is not super exciting. Five. Let's see what we're getting with this guy. Trample. No attacks. Now I'm tempted to Karn and make a guy. Sure. You have two cards in hand? I was like, uh, okay. Where's the life point when you need it? This guy costs nine, huh? It's a lot. Vigilance. So they have to block with both. So next time, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This guy costs five. He'll cost three next turn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. like we're way ahead right now we're also gaining life from that guy every turn oh inventor's fair how are you gonna act again let's see what we get first if we gain first strike now we got lifelink oh yeah 
And uh, three life back. This guy costs five, huh? Now he costs three. Will guide you towards victory. The fabric of the Karn costs two. Hmm. gonna get here uh, how much mana do we have a lot like a million I think it's just a chroma's memorial here we go spin that wheel Why did they concede? Why didn't they activate? Wait, why didn't they activate their tomorrow? Oh my god, because of the Karn? It's pretty good. <laughs> I feel like I may want four Mind Stones and only two Guardians. I think the, um, I think Mind Stone coming into play untapped is better. I also think drawing a card is probably better than being just a 2-2. Two -two. Heatron Archive is great. Karn was great. Monument. Ugin, Ugin. I might want another, I might want the fourth Karn. Maybe. Everything else is good. I don't know if I like Metalwork Colossus. It might just be worse than like Ugin or Ulamog. But I don't know if we're there yet. I don't I don't care about Field of Ruin that much. Like I don't think there's that many lands that I care about killing. Like there's no creature lands in the format and like Field of the Dead's gone. Plus like uh, we only have 3 basics, so I don't really want to like I don't want to get too crazy with with the uh, the number of basics that we have to muster up. Hey, we didn't mulligan this game. Also, I do like a Karn. And I like a I like a Mecha Godzilla. Oh, Super Fritz, thank goodness. I was so worried. Okay. I see how you're gonna be. Real mature, my dude. We call him Gojira. Oh man, look at you go. Can you get hexproof? Oh, I can get hexproof. That's just living the dream. I feel like there's gonna be so many random times where you're like, God, hexproof. Suck it. Ugin next turn, and then Ulamog casting eight is pretty sweet. We can go Ugin next turn. Potentially Ulamog turn after that. Are the seeds 
multiply that for zero. Make it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so we just get to play Ulamog if we can survive for a turn. And we get to draw a card. <laughs> Okie dokie. We're loving, we're loving it right now. Rocking the rolling all week long. Casting Ula Magu. That's fine. You got it. And down to the end, right? Truth lies beyond. I don't think we. Oh, we played this guy instead. Yeah, sure. Okay. Seems fine. And we have an active Ugin. This is free. Sure. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, that was pretty fun. Well, I'm having a good time. Yeah, I'm just gonna submit. I don't think we need necessarily mean like 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 we said, like our, our sideboard is mostly for Karn Grid Creator to find a thing and pull it in. Junior? Yeah, this is also after a turn one thought sees and Anissa, so. May's mind is like, okay, that's where I'm out. I draw the line. Yeah, this hand seems great. Sixty minute. Should we be playing best of one because we lack a? I mean, I think that's definitely an option. Maybe. Maybe this is a better best of one deck, a bow one deck, if you will. We got what one two three four five six. Dang it. One two three four. Yeah, it's fine. Mm -hmm. your prowess. Oh, that's good. But okay. I guess they're gonna take our monument. Sure. Or they can take one of our Eugenes. It's gonna be Monument. Wow, 
Well, that's pretty good. Uh, activate. Double Ugin in hand, do it. You got a Maelstrom Pulse? Maelstrom Pulse would be good. So just to be clear, we get to wipe the board? This doesn't have a color though. Not a color, right? A destination. What does she say? No, okay. Okay, they didn't tap it first, which is pretty indicative of them not having much else to do. Restrain yourself. Did they pay two for that? I'm tempted to negative five and then see what we hit here. Yeah, I don't know if we're gonna play the other Ugin. I don't know what they can have here, I really don't. I won't forget I will not Go to combat. All creation can be undone. Shark ty shark typhoon, sure. You got it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten mana.
Seems good. You and we can still maze mine town. Do you still have planeswalker voices on? Yeah, I don't have a problem with planeswalker voices. And we're 2-0 right now. Love it. Oh, what is this? The a shield? A little card back? I call it a shield, I don't understand. I don't, I'm gonna be honest, I don't think I like the stupid Metalwork Colossus. <laughs> you and kid, what up? Um, I don't hate them yet. I still don't think we have enough evidence one way or the other. Actually, let's try best of one. It's like you're being forced to watch a generic fantasy movie as you play a game, or it's like you're being forced to play a video game. I mean, most games have voice acting in them, so like, uh, you know, historic ranked. Is historic ranked best of one? Yeah, it is. Unfortunately, there's only like one Eldrazi in in, mod, in Historic. Elk tears. Hey, hey, hey. I just got my COVID test result. I feel like you're, I feel like they're negative. Should I, oh, oh you haven't checked them yet? Wait, was there, what was the reason you got tested? Oh, you're directing a uh, commercial so you had to get tested in order to, uh, to prove that you're not a dirty scumbag. I believe that you're not, and I think you're probably fine. Let's see what's going on in here. Live unboxing, guys. Three, two, one. Hmm. I just want to. I just want a Mecha Godzilla. That's all. I did not get a Mecha Godzilla. Could still draw a card though, which is actually pretty nice. That was actually a decent draw. Matthew, come on, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to assume that's negative. Yeah, you thought sees me. Oh, good to hear it, buddy. Good to hear it. There's a spit test now? Matthew, how long did it take you to get your results? When did you take the test? 
versus getting the results today, I assume. They have a less accurate rapid test where you can get results the day of and a more accurate five day test. Interesting. I'm not up on the, uh, the, the COVID as someone who literally works from home all the time and hasn't gone to a restaurant in 10 months. I have not been keeping as up to date. Karn makes a 3-3. Three, three. We could also go Hedron Archive and then Ugin next turn. We can go Archive into Guardian. Are you doing anything to go outside? Yeah, like we still go pick up food. Like we'll take walks and stuff. Yeah, I'm not just like not never leaving the house. I also go grocery shopping. Like I wear a mask, obviously, and and you know. I'm definitely leaving the house. I'm just not dangerously leaving the house. That's true with current restaurants are. I don't know. It's Karn. Is it Karn here? And then we don't get to we don't get the Maze Mind Tome. What do they have here? Nothing. Also, they could just steal our guy with Karn. Yeah, we're just gonna do this. What is this? One, two, three, four, five. I think I actually want to keep the Maze Mind Tome mana up because I want to be able to... See, again, where Guardian Idol would be just better if it came into play untapped here. It's four, five, six, seven. This, then this is going to be free. Karn's going to cost two. Yeah, this is actually good. Karn costs two next turn. So we're going to have five, six, seven, eight mana. We can use six and two, make a two, two, make a four, four. And this is free, so 5-5, five, five, I guess. Oh, you got a Lurus. three cards oh uh just use this guy Put a i mean the, the four life from here is also going to be extremely relevant oh that's interesting oh another life just keep gaining life okay so what do we have one two three four five six seven eight this costs five we can play for five and then we have one two three four five that does not I think it's still Ugin. When you understand reality, you understand yourself. I am Karn. Seems fine. Kill this, get another Karn. Ugin's a five, which is pretty pretty nice.
Why would you let me activate this and cast other things for free? That's really weird. That was a very strange decision. I mean, when I cast Karn off of the Ugin, I would have killed the Ugin immediately. Then I don't get the free... I don't get the free Guardian Idol. I don't get to activate Ugin. Sure. Oh, you're going to let me block. So Karn lives? You are acting unwisely. Sure. That's weird. Oh, okay. There's a lot of mana, including what whatever Forsaken Monument gives us next turn. Okay. I feel like our board state's pretty insane. Sure. Give it haste. You got it. Is this cast for free? Yeah, we're going to activate it, but we just want to see what they do first. Okay. Village rights. Sure. And the devil. The devil targeting... Maze Mind Tome. Really, not Forsaken Monument? Okay, they're all just dead. You have nothing left. Okay, sounds good. Are they not dead when we have like three crawling barons? One, two, activate. One, two, activate. One, two, activate. And they're all four fours? Yeah, they're just dead. Alright, um, 
One, two, activate. One, two, activate. One, two, activate. We have three, four, so they block two, four, fours. They take eight. Hmm. That's three out, my dudes. Oh, a wander mare. Oh, I'm gonna open this pack because that's how we do. Yo, Elk Tears. You should save your pack because it's a little hack I learned. Go on. I'm listening. Hold on a second. Oh, snap key. Play set of each rare. Interesting. Yeah, I feel like that takes a while, and as someone who plays constructed, like it's kind of our thirty-five years. Sounds about right, yeah. That's uh, that checks out. Give me that Eugene. Eugene, Eugene. Oh, they're just going to bolt my face like you do. Four, five. We can actually go. 
Archive for four, Mecha Godzilla. Come on. Hexproof. Come on. Reach. That ah, reaches shit. Say hello to my little friends. Yeah, Alright, sure. I mean, I think they're going to bow Mac Courier here, but... What can you do? Uh, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 11, 8 total mana. We can Ugin for 6, and then also put a Karn down. <sighs> Guy's fine. They don't have any cards left? That seems good. Why is Kind doing Scarface lines? Say hello to... I don't know. We take three. Let's get the big guys off the board. These are also the only wizards. This guy's not a wizard, so if they draw like wizards lightning, get an extra turn to. Okay, I like that. Hmm. So we're gonna go to six. Actually, we go to eight if we draw. Hmm. Lifelink? Lifelink. Flying. I also hope they don't they don't remember the Bomac Courier. Oh, they forgot the Bomac Courier. Okay, the game's over. <laughs> oh boy. Yep, we're done here. Some solutions must be built. Wow. Bomat Courier can't do shit. This game's over. Like, <laughs> take your red bullshit and get out of here. Oh man, that's wild. <sighs> Living the dream with this deck. Sore winner, my. I, I was. I was a sore winner. The difference is I didn't do it to his face, right? That guy has no idea I was a sore winner. Interplanar Beacon has been great. Um, I even think Inventors... Another Inventors Fair? I don't really want to have too many Inventors Fairs. If the person is a huge fan of mine and they're still playing Mono Red... Then I have done a poor job sparking their 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 innovative fires. And I blame myself really. This Ugin is very good. This is one of my favorite Ugins of the of the two. <laughs> of the two Ugins, this is one of my favorites. Sporking. Are you referring to Franks? I just think I should I think I should just put the Franks image up here because uh, in case in case someone hasn't seen it I think I, I like the deck so far and as like I think we're 3-0 so I really have nothing to to really to really fix or change 
So, I play Zudex and Hearthstone sometimes. Yeah, but no one ever said you weren't a scumbag. Are we 4 We beat the Saltai deck. We beat the Mono Red deck. We beat the first deck that we played. I don't know what that, I don't know what that one was. I'll keep this. Alright, let's see if metal... Oh, look, they look how much sand they took off this thing. That's kind of funny. Oh, yes, we played Energy, Black Red, Mono Red, and Soul Tie. Those are the... We are 4-0 currently, yes. Oh, Long Tusk Cub? That is not a dude I'm gonna miss. Or rather, that's not a dude I have missed. Let's put it that way, because that's the way that sentence should work. Hexproof. First strike. Lifelink. First strike? Okay. Does everybody see how many gems this. Um. Well, that's unfortunate. I'm not sure. Oh, yes. If you enter the deck into, like, MTG Goldfish, they actually show you, like, how many of each card. Also, there's not... Gems is not the cause. Uh, wild cards would be the card. The, the, the currency. Hmm. I don't actually need to activate this right now. So they can make this guy a 4-4. Four, four. They need 4 energy in order to make it a 6-6 six, six here. Yeah, it's almost like if there was a trading system on MTG Arena, it would really benefit a lot of players and it would really be an enjoyable function. Isn't that funny? I also have hundreds of... Interesting. Yeah, I also have hundreds of... Uh commons and uncommons that I'm just probably never going to get through because you just open them in such a high quantity. Yep. Got it. Don't need that. Like that, but that doesn't give me much to do here. Okay. I mean, we're just going to take a hit this turn, and the next turn we can Ugin and kill. Oh, it's not the it's a different Ugin. Oh, no, we got this Ugin, too. I was like, oh, no, this is an Ugin I wanted. Yeah, it's funny. I literally just saw a post about that on on Twitter, actually. That's fine. Well, 
Well, that is unfortunate. One, two, three, four, five, six, six mana. If we can play this and then this guy goes down to five, but that's still not enough. I don't think we can cast Archive and Claw. Wait, one, two, three, four. No, we can't. Oh, you're saying you're asking. No, no, no. Because we'd go one, two, three, four. We'd have one, two, three, four, and this guy would be four less, so it would be a five. I know more than you could learn in a thousand Okay. Secrets. Manifest before you. Oh, we're actually dead if they kill this. Yep, that's pretty bad. Alright. Our first loss to one fucking Long Tusk Cub. Yeah, Long Tusk Cub is one of my most hated cards from this set because it's just like if you don't have an answer for it, it just kills you for two mana. Um. All right, four one now. Unfortunate. Oh, Shadow Stormer again. I think this is either mono red or red black. I assume we will quickly see. Or blue black. Well, so long, carnals. Pretty easy choice there, my dude. No, the, the guy I bullied for Vanna was, was Vanna Lie. This is Shadow Stormer. This is a different different guy. Oh, searching for his Kanta. Like that. Yeah, red deck. Yeah, a red deck of the South Korean card skins. Correct. I think I do want to take the Metalwork Colossus out for one. Uh, for one, for the fourth six mana Ugin. I think six mana Ugin is just too good. See, that was a good draw. Ooh, which of these lands are you going to give me? Give me the Blast Zone. You know I'm not going to play that. Really? Man, I tapped in correctly. I should have played Archive into Karn, but I wanted to see if they had anything to play... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
One, two, three. Oh, we can't actually play this anyway, so never mind. So instead we do it, one, two, three, four, Hedron Archive. One, two, three, four for Karn. And we wouldn't have actually had mana to, to draw a card anyway, so. Murder. Oh, damn. Turn the page. Like it. Guys, I think we're doing good. <laughs> Just throw some spell skites in here. That's a good idea, actually, but I don't think they're available, unfortunately. No new Phyrexia on uh, on Arena yet. That's unfortunate. That Blood Chief's Thirst Dot deck over here. I mean, we're going to draw enough cards. Okay, yep, see, this is what I mean. Okay, <laughs> can we play both of these? One, two, three, four, five, six for Ugin. This guy costs six. One, two, three, four, five. We're one shy. Wow, that's sad. I will destroy if I must. They do have Phyrexian Obliterator. That's true. I played some Mono Black with Phyrexian Obliterator, and that was pretty sweet. Raska's Contempt, huh? What do you got? Two free mana? That's not going to do it. Okay. Draw a card. Um. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, we were gonna actually Karn's Bastion. Uh and then ultimate Ugin. <laughs> Put Ugin Monument Land Land like Okay, that's pretty good. Oh yeah, pouncing Pouncing Shore Shark. Could this deck use Tezzeret? Uh, create a 1-1 one, one Colorless Thopter with Flying. I kind of like that guy. 6 mana Tez. X damage each opponent where X is the number of artifacts you control. Uh, the negative three is not good. That guy, no. This guy, maybe, though. Five mana test seems pretty good. Oh, there's the schemer as well. Create a color. So you make a, you make a lotus petal with the plus one. Plus X, negative X, X numbers are artifacts you control. Uh, at the beginning of combat, target artifact you control becomes an... Yeah, eh. That guy's kind of... I don't know. I, I, I think that, that Tez is kind of meh. This Tez actually seems decent, though. I mean, the odds of us drawing two cards from him is pretty high. I wonder... Okay, let's, let's go back here. Also, Interplayer Beacon adds one blue. Um, we can definitely take out... One blast zone. And eh, we'll take a one Karn's Bastion. And one blast zone. Alright. 
five islands. Let's put in like two Tez. What are we taking out? We're taking out the two Colossus. Putting in two Tez. We also wanted one more Ugin. So this is five, six, seven, eight, nine sources. I don't know if that's going to be good enough, but we might as well. Oh, we can actually definitely. Uh, let's put Tezzeret here. Is it still colorless control if we uh, if we add Tezzeret? I don't know. But Tezzeret is like the most colorless artifact. Centric planeswalker there is, so. Well, this hand's rough. This hand's better. We'll put an Ulamog back. Also, there's nothing to say we have to play it on turn five. We could just literally play it on turn like seven, draw two cards. Have we used Ulamog? Yeah, we cast Ulamog. We got rid of their Nissa and one of their lands. And then they killed Ulamog. But it was fine. The damage is already done. And that is our second source of blue for Tezzeret. So that's pretty sweet. So next time we can go Archive. We just have to survive for like two more turns. Oh, is this just the Goblin deck with... um Muxus? dead one two sack 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 oh yeah we're dead well why would you play that though if you're gonna mux us that doesn't make any sense because it's two mana regardless so Two, three, four, five. All right, we're not dead yet, and that's important. Not being dead yet is important.
This is 12 and... This guy's, this guy's just gonna kill our thing. We're dead. I think I, I think the deck, even if it, <laughs> sure. I think the deck, even though we do have a sideboard that's not conducive to, uh, to sideboarding, I think the deck is still a better best of three deck because you do get sh stuff like this happens. But if you have like an Ugin of your own, you can wipe the board. Like, there's tons of outs for stuff like this, but, like, if you're going to get varianced out, um, I do think best of three might be a better choice. I'm going to try one more. Best of one and see what happens. better uh, I'm gonna put Tezzeret back unfortunately we just don't have a second blue or five mana yet Speak of the devil. So now we do get to play Karn. Something good. Hexproof! Oh, that's a good one. Oh man, Hexproof is bananas! How many, what are the options? I think there's like 10, flying first strike, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, there's 10 different options. So 10% chance of getting hexproof. Hmm. No blocks. Some aggressive vampires. Um, Pretty sure this is definitely a go find something good. What do we have? One, two, three. We have six mana. Kind of like Meteor Golem here. We can also just play Stone Coil for six. First strike. First strike seems good. Is there a Darksteel Citadel legal? I can see putting Darksteel Citadel on the sideboard. That's just a way to get an extra land.
Interesting. Post combat, huh? Champion of Dusk. I love Champion of Dusk. Champion of Ducks. Okay, well, that's probably the end, isn't it? Basically dead here. Yeah, we just couldn't draw the things we needed. Yeah, I mean, like, we went from 4-0 four, four to 4-2, unfortunately. I'm going to play one more best of three to see if that makes a difference. I feel like we do need more... Like, I, I think the, the Karn that actually draws you cards and makes creatures is a little bit better. I do think we need another one of these Ugans. Yeah, there are less aggro decks in best of three. That's also true. Crawling, interplanar into this guy. Ideally, we draw a four drop. We have like 10 of them, four, four, three, three. On four drop. Twenty percent chance. Oh man. Didn't miss that guy. Solid hand. One of my top 10 least favorite cards of the last five years. That is not a real list that I can come up with on the top of my head in the middle of a game, I don't think. 
Oh boy. Maybe I'll make that my article. Wow, that's amazing. See, this, if this is the best of one, I'd feel terrible. I mean, if they're just gonna keep thought seizing us and not hitting anything, like, I guess that's fine. Man, I was really hoping for a Karn there so I could get a Tormod's Crypt and exile their graveyard. I feel like that would be pretty just desserts. Five, six, seven. So, actually, if they they don't know about Ugin, if they want to play, if they want to play, oh, if they want to play Euro this turn, that would be pretty bananas. They even exiled the other Euro to do it. <laughs> oh, the dream is being lived, boys. Making sure I don't have another Inventor's Fair in play. Oh, there it is! That was satisfying. To the essence of the multiverse. You got it. Oh, turn too late, my dude. 
Oh boy, one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. We are winning, I think. Oh, they're gonna cycle their land? Why not do that during your- I don't understand why they don't do these things during their turn so they can play something else. Like, if you draw a 4-drop, like, Braska's Contempt, you get to use it. I don't understand. It's your girl! Nissa who shakes the world! I have one card in hand. I'm like, alright, I'll make it a 4-4. Four, four. Block your guy. Seems good. Okay. <laughs> yep, that was... That was joyous. Yeah, I'll keep this. This is nice because we have a bunch of different options. We can play Karn or Karn. Depending on what happens. What a Bind Lancer. This is nice because they have multiple two drops and multiple four drops, so they can pretty much choose what they want and we're still just fine. 
just fine. Just fine. Now we can also play 4-drop into Maze Mind Tome. There's a lot of different lines of this deck, which is kind of nice. And, like, they're, all the lines are pretty powerful. I wish Fibbletop's eyes moved. But they don't. That's sad. Yeah, I've been enjoying this deck quite a bit. Oh, interesting. What are you going to name? What are you going to name? Maze Mind Tome? Karn? Okay. seven mana. It's pretty good. Pet your virtual dog instead. <laughs> okay. Oh, I can turn into leafy nature dog or fire dog or combat dog. Oh, the fronks are up 300%? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's really sad. Five mana it is. X proof again! Hex proof. This guy's just gonna beat this guy's gonna beat the limit. Shoot out of my opponent. Oh the Fronks are up. I'm sorry. I forgot to take the Fronks down. Oh. Well that's sad. I guess he's not gonna beat anything. Can we do it twice? Okay, 4-4 four, four is fine. <laughs> yeah, because how can robots go extinct, you know? Robots are cool. Extinction events straight up for Crystal Boys. This is four to sack. I mean having double having Maze Mind Tome and he drawn it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight mana gives us a lot of access. They don't even double green, so they can't even cast a Nissa. That's interesting. Five two seems pretty good. Losing two rounds to aggressive decks in best of one. Uh, we also don't. We only have uh, one source of blue mana right now, so we couldn't even cast Tezzeret, which is good. We we went down to one. I'm not sure if you need it. They just hard cast that. Wow, that's wild. Uh, is there anything we can do here? No, not, not particularly. Okay, well. Actually, let's use Labyrinth and Beacon. Oh boy. Why is it, take auto off? Just auto pay, that's fine. Resolve it. Oh, 
Oh, they have no cards in hand, too. Wow, this is, this is looking good. Got Maelstrom Pulse? Now you gotta choose. Can't? You got Heroes Downfall? Uh, no, we didn't need to do it for two because they had Shark Typhoon on board. We got rid of their Shark Typhoon. I mean, I'm aware that, that Hydra and Crassus is always cost two. Like, that's why we did it for three last game to kill Euro and, and Hydra and Crassus. <laughs> Oh, look at that. It's so good. Look how good. Oh my god, these are killing us here. Uh, we might actually use... Oh, actually! Oh! Oh! So we got one, two... So what do we lose? We lose Maze Mind Tome. Actually, we can activate Maze Mind. We're going to activate it first next turn. Probably crack this. I Chris, I did see that the specs got released. I didn't check them though because I'm just like, do I need do I need them? Oh, what we're going to do is we're going to Oh, we're done. <laughs> yeah. Wait. Fascinating. Wait, what are you saying, Chris? No, my point is I didn't need to know what they were because I don't care because I'm just going to put it on Ultra anyway. I don't know what you're talking about right now. Like, I have a 38. Like, I'm just going to put everything on Ultra. I don't, I don't really need to know the specs because I'm just, I don't care. Jeez. Lots of Karns, boys. Yeah. 
Okay. Some things can't be unsaid. <laughs> oh boy. Rise, my elemental friend. Stop using Hedron Archive. Mm. What did you get? Reach? Until you have lived as a statue, your evil cannot withstand a fight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We have twelve mana. Thirteen next turn. Behold, nature's true power. Nature's true power. Take my other Karn. Oh, that's pretty good. Does a Kermos Memorial just kill them? 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Does it give haste? So we have 18. Yeah, they're just dead. 1, 2, 
One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> oh man, a Chroma's Memorial for the Winsies. Indominus. Hopefully this was a pretty sweet recreation of a uh, of a Colas control deck. I feel like we actually did very, very well and all the cards served pretty decent purposes. We never got to see Tezzeret in action, so I could definitely see not using Tezzeret if you want to keep it a true colorless control deck. But I think 5-2, losing only the like hyper-aggressive single, single round decks in uh, best of one is is pretty good um this will definitely be um the, the deck list will definitely be in the description below if you guys are watching on youtube um this ugin's great this ugin's fantastic this will log's great forsaken monument definitely makes the deck um i do like this card more than this card but as you can see this whenever you play this and need one of the artifacts from the sideboard it's definitely extremely useful Mecha Godzilla is one of the cards I'm I'm on the fence on a little bit. I think when you have it, it kind of is a little bit of a roadblock. I mean, like if you can get like First Strike or Life Link or or Hexproof, I think it's very very good. Um, but sometimes you might just want, like, it's very possible that you just want to add like Fourth Karn, Fourth Maze Mind Tome, Third Guardian Idol or something like that. You know, just just to be a little more consistent. But you know, this guy, I think he was fine when we had him. I wasn't overwhelmingly impressed but i also never felt like he was like oh i wish this was something else i you know i don't know about the tether island i don't think it hurt us but i also think the utility of some of these lands is nice i think it can go either way i think it's definitely uh just an option you have um you could easily take these five out add add five other lands i do like having a few a few basics whether they're islands or swamps or whatever just so you have field of ruin protection but either way, I think it's totally fine. Whatever you choose, I don't think I don't think I, that's not going to make or break the deck. And you have a lot of customization with the lands because these are all pretty decent. I think Inventor's Fair and Interplanar Beacon were great, and they gained us a good amount of life every game. Uh, Labyrinth did some work. Bastion we never got to use. It's a little expensive. Same with Bonder's Enclave. Blast Zone was pretty good. I'd probably go up to three now, actually, knowing what I know. But, um, yeah, I think this was sweet. I, the deck was super fun to play. I'm, I'm glad we, we did it. And Adominus, thank you so much for the support, my dude. Hopefully, in two years, you'll be rewatching this as well. And uh, if you guys want to have a deck donation by me, definitely uh, check out the description below in the YouTube video. You can email me at frank at franklepore.com. Uh, you can also... Um, uh, check out manatraders.com. They got 15% off for any subscription with the link and promo code down below. And... Uh, they're a great subscription service. I appreciate you being willing to do this. The technical undefeated around modern two years ago, undefeated in best of threes. Oh, that's true. In the best of threes, we actually were undefeated again. Yeah. That's a good, yeah, that's actually a good way to look at it. I, uh, I support it. And Dominus, dude, thank you so much. I'll see you guys next time.